Hello, Hello Middleton, Middleton Cardinals. Cardinals! It is time to choose your classes for the 2019-20 school year. Students will view the registration PowerPoint, view the video, and receive their course selection forms in advisory. Students will then register online independently. On February 8th, you will need to return your signed form to your advisory teacher. The registration window is open January 3rd through February 8th. Instructions can be found on your course selection form. Please follow the instructions carefully. Courses can be searched by course name or number in Infinite Campus. A full year course requires you to put both first and second semester in the list of your course requests in campus. The campus portal for course registration will close after advisory on February 8th. Please meet this deadline or courses will be determined for you. If you're wondering what to take next year or want to double check about credits and graduation requirements, then it's time to seek your school counselor. Counselors will visit advisory classrooms and be available during designated ASR sessions. Please take advantage of these opportunities to see your counselor. Please review the course selection book and see what classes interest you. Take the time to read the course descriptions. The schedule is created based on student requests. This process is not first come first serve, so take your time to fill out the form, have conversations with your teachers and counselors, and review the course offering handbook. A budget and hiring teachers are based off your course requests. There will be no course request changes after your course selection sheet is turned in. Schedule changes may only be done during the established schedule change windows. You must take a minimum course load of 2.5 credits, which is five classes per semester, but we recommend that you take more. Students need to take six credits each year to stay on track to meet graduation requirements in four years. The maximum you can take is seven traditional classes. Review the prerequisites for each class. You will only be allowed to take a course if you've met those prerequisites. There are many courses at MHS that don't have any prerequisites, but many do. How many credits do you need to graduate? 23.75. Of those credits, you will need four years of English, three years of social studies, three years of math, three years of science, 1.5 credits of PE that must be taken over three years, 0.5 credit of health, 0.5 financial literacy taken junior or senior year. MHS students must also choose option A or option B for elective graduation requirements. Option A requires that you have at least one full credit in fine arts, which is either art, music, or theater, and one credit in career technical education. CTE includes business and marketing, information technology, engineering and technology education, family consumer sciences, and health science occupations. Option B requires three years of a world language or a level three proficiency. In addition, students must take a 0.5 credit of fine art and a 0.5 credit of CTE. It's important to remember that graduation requirements may not meet college admission requirements. Many students find it helpful to review our four-year planning worksheet when it comes to choosing their courses for the coming year. Your counselor is happy to help you modify your plan and to make sure you meet all graduation and college admissions requirements. There's also a guide in your course handbook that includes many of these requirements. Read over the colored course selection form. Signatures are required by both the student and parent or guardian on the course selection form. It is important that students remember to return the registration form to your advisory on February 8th. Students should seek out teachers in the appropriate subject areas for questions. For example, your math teacher knows your math skills and your work ethic and will be able to help you determine the appropriate class for next year. As always, your school counselor will help you with any course selections and questions you may have. All MHS students should have a schedule that not only challenges them, but is a balance of rigor and interest. The PowerPoint and registration video reviewed in advisory will also be linked to the MHS website. Please remember the MHS staff is here to help you make the 2019-20 a successful school year.